Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. You know, with everything that has happened, it has uh, caused so many of us to think about life and how each day is truly a precious gift. Mm -hmm. In today's Full Circle, we want to focus on what we do each morning after we open our eyes, what are some of our routines, and how do we uh, set ourselves up for success and make sure we're living our lives to the fullest. You know, Quad, you mentioned it in the be uh, beginning of the show, just like giving you your flowers, but what do you do First thing to, in the to, to be Miss Quad first thing you in the morning. You know what? I just I, I always take it to God. Mm -hmm. I take it to God. It's the first thing that I do, you know, and I thank God for I say, God, thank you for everything you've done for me, the things that you were come to do for me. But most importantly, help me to remain humble. Yes. And that's my prayer. And I, I think just that alone kind of it centers me, mm -hmm. you know, and uh, always just thinking about how I can give love and make a person feel love. That's very important to me. Got you. Very, it's extreme. That's that's like the number one thing on my list. Just being able to give love and receive it and really uh, making a person feel it, like mm -hmm. really feel it. And that can happen with just a smile, a hug, or if someone, um, you know, you, you can see when something is wrong with the person. You can identify with mm -hmm. it. Just giving them a comforting word. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. uh, could change the trajectory of their day. Yeah, That's true. Absolutely, yeah. Absolutely. absolutely. I'm very similar, um, but uh, recently I've started journaling in the mm -hmm. morning um, as my prayer and just whatever's on my mind, even if it's one sentence, God is love. Mm -hmm. Or if it's a whole paragraph of things that I want to accomplish yeah. or want to manifest in my life. So it's my manifestation journal. And so I've learned mm -hmm. the power of intention too lately uh, from, my, from one of my spiritual guides, just really writing down the steps of what it is that you would like to happen in your life, but putting it down as though it already is. Father God, thank you for blank. Yeah. And then, I, uh, Father God, Source Energy, Jesus, whoever you subscribe to, I'm grateful for this. And in the process, I'm so happy that this happened and no one else was harmed and it came to me safely and positively. Just mm -hmm. really, because sometimes when we, we manifest things, we forget about all the things that can happen to get to that dream. Mm -hmm. You think about, uh, I want a new car. But I want a new car and I want everybody involved to be safe while uh, I'm trying to accomplish this goal. If you don't put that in the end, what if you have an accident and then you get the pump money for the car, but you had an accident? You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So just really being intentional about making sure those things that you want to manifest in your life come to you in a positive way. Mm -hmm. And that everybody, way. yes, good. and everybody involved in that goal for your life was uh, affected positively and safely. So I've been learning the power of intention and how you write those things down because we have the universe here is good and bad mm -hmm. of the things that you may want. Mm -hmm. So just be careful that when you put it out there that it's put with powerful and positive intent. So I that's like what that. I'm trying to do. That's good. Yeah. That's very good. I never thought yeah. inclusive. Like I really like how inclusive that you is. You have yeah. to be. Because you forget. Yeah. You, you get very insulated in how you pray and you know you'll pray for you know in general for yeah. everyone but then you have to be real specific. The yes. Bible does say to be specific, specific. about what you yeah. want. And then, and then making sure those people are around you that you love and that you cherish uh, aren't affected in a negative yeah. way. So mm. I think that's that's what it's I've been good. doing lately. It's, yeah. Honey, it's, it's, it's been working. It's working. It's working. All right. It's working yeah. for my life. Yeah. I'll tell you what, the very first thing I do as soon as I open my eyes, as soon as I thank the Lord for the day, mm -hmm. uh, everything else progresses on after that. And I think you've seen my mirror, mm -hmm. and uh, I have affirmations that I say. It says, I am, because the, the God I serve says, I am that I am. Mm -hmm. So I profess who I am. Mm -hmm. It might not be what it is right now, but I call those things that be not as though they were. Yes. Know that's so, right. you know, if it's, it's something that I need or something that I need to be or something that I'm wanting, I am. Yes. And yeah. that's how I say it. That's, yeah, how, I like I, that's how I profess yeah. my yeah. day. Yes, yes. Uh, well, for me, it's kind of similar to everyone. I have, a, um, I, I wake up in the morning and then I go into my closet. Mm -hmm. um, I'm a big fan of Priscilla Shire. And so I read her book, mm -hmm. her 90 day affirmation book. Yeah, we have that too. Um, mm -hmm. Yes, the one mm -hmm. we, yes. And so I read that book and I, at the end of it, let's just, so like every day it's a scripture, but then it's like a lesson. Mm -hmm. And then you write what you thought about, like something that pertains to your life. Mm -hmm. So I spend my moments with God in the closet because that's my war room, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? So I, I spend my first moments with that book and just talking to God about just different things that are on my mind, not necessarily prayers all the time, but just kind of venting. Like, or sometimes I just sit in there and just be still, or sometimes I just be in there doing nothing, child. I'm like, <laughs> I just be sitting in there stretching and carrying on. But it's just important that I have just some type of me time, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? And it be my first thing. Even if it's, I'm not doing anything, I'm just in the closet and nobody's in there and nobody's allowed to come yes. in there. And nobody's gonna bother you, 
because it's 5 o'clock in the morning. Right. Yeah, Except five. for Malik's, my dog. <laughs> yeah. He finds me every morning <laughs> in my prayer room. See, he just... <laughs> but then he comes he and he... Say he needs some prayer, too. He needs some prayer, too. He needs some, some prayer. Right, right, yeah. right. Yeah. But as you know, as we mentioned in the, early, uh, in the beginning of the show, for those of you who uh, joined us for the daily <clears> feed, uh, when Kwa was speaking about, you know, the, giving you your flowers mm -hmm. now, just really, you know, we want to take this day to obviously uplift you, but just yeah. remind you, like, every day counts. Yes, it and does. It does. What the, the gift that we have right now is now. Yes. Yes. And you can think about trivial things that, that, that got matter. you upset last week and this, that, and the third, as we say here. But really, in the grand scheme of things, Love on your people who yeah. love you. Yeah. Let go of the trivial things that don't matter in the grand yeah, scheme of things. You. And I just want to take this moment to say, I love you. I love, you, I love, I love you. you. We love you. I too. love, I love you, too. you too. Thank I love you. All of I mean, you. I just do. You yeah. know what I mean? And because you know, sometimes you have to love the people who don't love you. you yeah, they know what kind of day they're having. That's a true right. test, and right something there. That's stopping them. <laughs> yeah, because that that act of kindness yes. might be a breakthrough for them. It's, yeah, it can be. Yes, you just yes, never know. Yes, you may be the only Bible, Quran, whatever that somebody sees that day. So just smile because you never know what people are going through. And again, we continue to uplift you yes. and pray for all of those who've been affected uh, by the terrible tragedy yesterday and by whatever you may be going through. Yeah. We send you love, peace, and happiness. Yes. Uh, we'd love to hear your thoughts at Sister Circle TV. Up next